Hey everyone, it's day 49 of Train Eat Gain and I am completely buzzing today. Oh my god, so much to tell you. So, let's start with Train Eat Gain. Uh, I am beginning week 8 tomorrow, so I've just watched my week 8 videos and I'm going to tell you about them all through the week because there's loads of information in there, but the first video that I watched was all about making sure that you are training hard enough and how you increase over time. And essentially the rules are to increase the number of sets and the number of reps gradually over time. Now, Train It Gain do that for me anyway. And if I go on to a second round, they don't just give me the same as what I've already had for this 90 days. They bespoke the plan based on my progression and my performance, which is really good to hear because it means that I'm not going to plateau, I'm going to keep pushing forward. Um, so that was really good to learn about and there was a couple of other videos which I'll talk about more as the week goes on. I have had the best morning ever. Um, I went and met my Insta pal, uh, Neil Marsh, at Coach underscore marshy he is an absolute diamond he's going to be speaking at the seminar next week i just love him and i loved his gym today we did a kind of crossfit session i tried pull-ups oh my god i was rubbish at it <laughs> um but the women in there were incredible i was in awe of these women they just did an amazing job. I was able to kind of hold it for about two seconds and then slowly come down and hang. Um, but, oh God, it was incredible. And then I did spin, which I loved. Um, I just was wired and, you know, burnt nearly 800 calories in two hours and came out of there having been with the best bunch of positive people and it really made me think that actually working out with people is great fun i've worked out on my own all the time i've done this apart from when i do sessions with dell my pt um pretty much 90 percent of the time i'm on my own so it can get a bit dull um so today was just joyous and such a refreshing change and actually it made me think about mindset because I, I'm in the mindset that I don't like going to gyms and it's only recently that I'll go into the gym at a hotel rather than train in my room because I've always been frightened really and intimidated I suppose is the word and also in the past I've gone to classes and felt that people weren't very friendly or weren't, weren't very welcoming or you know might be laughing at me because I wasn't able to do it as well as them. And actually, today has taught me that that was all about what was in here and nothing about other people. And generally, that's the case, isn't it? Because the guys today were completely welcoming and I felt fine amongst them and I felt like I could, you know, give it my all and give it some welly and, and it worked. So that's because inside my head, I'm a bit of a different person to the one that tried to go to the gym or to a class two, three, four years ago. So that's fab. I'm also wearing this, which is very different for me. I would never have chosen something like this in a shop. This is from Miss Selfridge, it's a size 10. I nearly picked up a size 12 and brought it home, but I, went, I was brave and went for the 10. I should have bought the eight because it is too big. <laughs> um, but I'm showing my shoulders in a cold shoulder top. I mean, it is just insane. And there's another lesson there in terms of the reason I came home with a top that was too big is because I'm still very fearful of going into the changing rooms and putting things on because I've had so many terrible experiences in shop changing rooms. Um, and this is why I do 90% of my shopping online. But what I've learned today, having put this on and liking it and showing my collarbones, from now on, I am gonna try things on in the shop because it's all good, I need to be brave, and I need to recognize my new shape and start choosing things that are a bit different and giving it a go. And if I can get away with this at 39, then anyone can. So that's me. Have a gorgeous Saturday evening and I will speak to you all tomorrow.